Hey guys, I'm Matsuzi. Welcome to Jersey Boys Reviews. Today we're doing a review on the Rolex GMT2 Batman on the Oyster Band. But before we go any further, I would like to tell you guys to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Instagram at Jersey Boys Reviews. Hey guys, welcome back. Like I said earlier, we're doing a review on the uh, Rolex GMT2, the Batman, reference number 116710BLNR. This watch debuted uh, at Basel World, I believe in 2013. Um, I'm, I'm going to be doing some reviews on my personal collection of watches. Uh, this watch is pretty cool. I am 90% sure this was the first time Rolex ever did a two-tone ceramic bezel. Um, I bought this watch about two years ago. I was in between either buying a two-tone Submariner or buying this one. Um, I ended up buying this one and I'm happy I, I ended up buying it because I paid about 9600 bucks for it and if you check chrono24.com this watch jacked up in price a lot. Um, Right now it's going for like anywhere between 14 and like 16.5. Um, they ended up discontinuing this watch and then they released uh, a new one on a Ju Ju Jubilee band. Um, I like it, it's okay, but I much prefer it on the, the Oyster band. Uh, it is a 40 millimeter watch. Um, Personally, I still think that it's an investment piece because when the Hulk came out, I think the retail on the Hulk was way under 10. And then it jacked up to around what this watch is, which is like anywhere between, like I said, 14 and 16.5. Everybody thought it was gonna get capped there. And then now Hulks are going for Anywhere from 20 to 20, 25 grand. So I still think that this is a investment piece if you're interested in this watch. Uh, it's definitely going to hold its its val uh, value. I like it. It's, uh, it's a more hefty watch, especially for a stainless steel watch. Um, <clears throat> believe it or not, the weight of this stainless steel watch is about the same of older gold watches. Um, I like it. It fits good on, on the hand. Um, it's not as flashy of a stainless steel, which I like. It's not overly done shi shiny. Uh, I really like the way it fits on the hand. Me personally, I like a heftier watch. Uh, fits good on the hand. Uh, usually I don't like a black dial, but uh, I, I really, really like the black dial on, on this watch. Uh, like I said, my personal opinion, I still think it's an investment piece. I think at some point you will see this watch in the high teens, maybe even the low 20s. That is the review, guys. Appreciate you guys for stopping in. Uh, can't finish this video without giving a special shout out to Alan, the watch boss in Staten Island. There's his Instagram account. Uh, if anybody's into New York, Jersey, Philly area, and you're looking to get a watch for a great price, definitely check out Alan, the watch boss. Follow him on Instagram. Uh, you can DM him, you can text him, his phone number is there. I bought this watch from him. Uh, the next review is going to be on this one here. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, follow us on Instagram, and appreciate it, guys.